Hi everyone, it's Kaylee Ann. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here today with my empties video that I have been promising you guys. Um, this is a collection of empties probably from, I want to say, half of, well let's see, we're on August 13th. So I would say probably about a month's worth of empties, probably mid-August to mid, I mean mid-July to mid-August, sorry. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to share this with you. So uh, I have my coffee again, as you can see. This time I did just like a pistachio toasted marshmallow latte super good nice and frothy today because I decided to treat myself and use 2% uh, milk rather than oat milk um, so yeah I went back to work last week um, was a really busy week so I'm just having a really like chill weekend um, just trying to get myself back together we didn't have kids last week so it was just teachers coming in for meetings and work days and such and so it was um, nice in that sense, but still still exhausting after kind of being off all summer. So. so yeah, I'm just trying to regroup and get ready for the next week when kids come back and everything like that. So I am going to do probably the next several videos you see are going to be like filmed like this and not face to face. I think I like face to face. I like getting to like feel like I'm seeing you guys and you guys are seeing me. But I also know that being able to like hold the wax and stuff right up to the camera is also really nice for you guys. And for me, it's just like, listen, it's almost 10 a.m. I just showered, have not like done my hair, not put on makeup, not done anything other than that. So I really don't feel like getting in front of the camera. So I think this is kind of going to be how the next several videos look. Um, so without further ado, I'm just going to jump in and I'm not going to go in any particular order today. I think I'm just going to grab what's in front of me. If you guys prefer that I go in an order, like I do all one vendor, all the next vendor, or if I do all my clams, all my scent shots, let me know. Otherwise though, I think it's kind of fun to just kind of grab and go. So I am going to move my phone out of the frame and I'm going to move my coffee so I can drink it. And then... Yeah, we'll just grab and go. So the first thing that I see right here, oh, this was a good one. So this was a strawberry watermelon cake by Southbound. This is fresh strawberry and juicy watermelon blended with a, a sweet birthday cake. Let me know too, you guys, if you, if I need to read the set notes during my empties or if you're okay if I just say the name and tell you what I think. <clears throat> because since I am holding them up like this, you could also like pause the video and stuff, but I've also hauled almost all of this. So anyways, this one was really good. I love anything of Southbound that has her strawberry in it, whether it's like fresh strawberry, strawberry pound cake, anything like that. Um, this one was one of my favorites from Southbound and I liked it because it wasn't too watermelony. I liked that it was just nice and um, strawberry-y with a hint of watermelon. So I would highly recommend this when it comes back, probably <clears throat> next spring or summer. I will be repurchasing and I love her bakery bags so loved that one that was a love that was a repurchase okay up next from L3 we have beach nights funnel cake and blackberry this was a puppy pack and this one was also really good L3 has a really really nice beach night scent and I love blackberry and then the funnel cake just added a nice sweetness so this was good um, with L3 <laughs> she has so many scents and so many of them are so good that it's hard for me to say like yeah I'm gonna repurchase this I'm gonna repurchase this because the chances of like this exact blend coming back without being requested I feel like are not as high but like you know something else super similar is gonna come back at some point is gonna come out so I would repurchase this like if I saw it again but also I would repurchase something similar to this super good I hope that made sense. <laughs> okay, the next thing is a sample, Peppermint Dream. This is was a sample from Pharmacist Daughter. I, sorry, it's hard to read. I love Pharmacist Daughter. I didn't know how I felt at first, and I know there's a lot of, like, some people like their stuff, some people don't. I've grown to really love them, and this was, I used this in my bedroom. I don't know what the scent notes are, but it was just nice, it was a nice creamy peppermint. And it was a really nice bedroom scent, so I would, would purchase this. In fact, I do think I have this or something similar in a full size. So, liked that one. Oh, okay. I think I might have put everything, like, way too far back. Sorry for my whole arm being in frame. Okay. So, the next thing we have is a scent shot from Fantasy Wax. And this one is in Squidward, which was Wildberry Cheesecake. 
This one was really good. It was a very tart cheesecakey scent, which I guess makes sense because cheesecake and um, I think it was pretty heavy in the blueberry. So yeah, super good. I'm not sure that I would repurchase this particular scent again. I really like wild berry mousse scents because they have that same wild berry scent but are a little bit sweeter rather than tart. This one almost leaned tart blueberry plus the cheesecake. So it was good but probably wouldn't repurchase this scent just for my own opinions. Nothing to do with fantasy wax. I love fantasy wax. Okay, the next thing I have is from Rose Girls. This was Circus Concessions, and this one, amazing. Don't really need to say much more. I know in the community it's very, very well loved. Um, this was from a, like a, I think a kahuna, a big kahuna box, and I uh, since then have purchased it, I think, twice in Mindy Melter bags. So really like that one. Definitely repurchased, will continue to repurchase, and it will be a great transition to fall scent already used it during the summer next is another rose girl scent this is an absolute coffee pecan vanilla crunch donut so i don't love her hold on let me scoot my chair up a little bit okay back <laughs> i don't love her absolute coffee if i'm being completely honest i really like her espresso blends the absolute coffee is just a little too like almost bitter smelling to me if that makes sense so I wouldn't repurchase this again. I don't typically purchase her absolute coffee blends unless it's something I want to try because I've heard really good things about it. Like Luke Steiner, I've heard is really good. And I know that one is absolute coffee, but I want to try that one. Does that make sense? So typically I won't purchase them, but yeah. Okay. So next we have, okay, this one. So this is, I'm just over it, which is weird because it was a small shape. So this is from Zape. This is Valley Ho. This is Icy Lemonade, Citrus Fizz, uh, Citrus Fizz, and Fresh Fresh Basil. So this was just a little bunt, and I cut it into, I think, four pieces. And I've been like, it's I've been working so hard just to get through the three pieces that I did get through. This is way too fizzy for me, and I don't think I like the lemonade. So I don't like the lemonade. I don't like the fizz. And I don't even smell the basil. So. <laughs> Here's the thing, it doesn't stink, okay? It is just too intense for me, too much fizzy scent. And so I don't love it. Um, I think I'm gonna throw it into the big, uh, not big kahuna, the round robin I'm participating in because it's just a little piece left and someone else might really like it um, rather than like wasting it and throwing it away. But I've really tried to get through it, just wasn't my favorite, but it's not a bad scent if that makes sense. So I'm hoping yeah, it's just way too fizzy and lemony for me. I'm hoping somebody else can give it some love because there's just a little bit left. It would be perfect for, I was using it in my bathroom, um, but you could use it anywhere you have just a single warmer. So yeah, that's that one. Okay, that is a tag from a pair of shoes. <laughs> I was keeping these, but I still have it. I'm ke I keep all of my empties, like as I empty them, I throw them into this um, shoe box. So that would be where that tag came from. All right, so up next we have another pharmacist's daughter blend. This one is Decadence. This was in, um, anyway, I'm not going to read the scent notes. So Decadence, it is very decadent. This was in the snack bars, and this one was really, really good. Heavy, heavy, heavy mango. So if you're not a mango person, you might not like. If you're someone who really doesn't like mango, kind of like the way I really don't like pineapple, you might want to avoid it. Um, I love mango. This was so good to me. That I already say this was in the snap bars and so I just melted it in my open concept and then the rest of it I threw in the bathroom so good so good so I would definitely repurchase that one all right Ooh, okay super excited about this one so this was a customs from Kay's customs this was espresso and pumpkin snickerdoodle and it was just in her eight ounce Kay's cuts bags oh my gosh you guys I was so sad when this was over <laughs> Um, so I will probably be purchasing it again, but I have so many other like customs I want to do that I'm not going to go ahead and like do it right away. Mm. Oh, my coffee's hot. So, um, this was the perfect espresso, like, I don't even espresso cookie blend. 
I don't feel like it was too fall leaning. Like I don't feel like the pumpkin was too prominent in it, which I don't know. Like, I don't know if it was more prominent, if I'd like it more or less, but, or just, it would be different. This was so good. It lasted so long. If you've ever had K's wax, you put in your warmer and it, you can just leave it. And sometimes like all day overnight is so good. So this was really good. If you're looking for a custom that you want to add to your list, this one okay espresso pumpkin snickerdoodle the only thing i might do different next time is like i don't know it might be kind of yummy to add like a i don't know it's kind of perfect the way it is never mind don't really want to add anything if you wanted it more pumpkiny you could add another pumpkin scent but i think i liked it the way it was okay up next we have this this is zape and this is in the scent fireworks and this was cherry blue cotton candy and fizzy pop Okay, I know I've been really inconsistent with the scent notes. I'm sorry. This was in the shape of a star and it was for her, uh, it was a 4th of July shape. So this one was super, super good. Okay, this I, now one thing I will say about Zape, um, going back, so this one was really good. Everything I've had from her though, from Zape, I cannot put in my open concept because I can't smell it in my open concept and I don't have a large house. Like our house is like 1200 something square feet. We don't have vaulted ceilings. Like I have four open concept warmers. Okay, so I shouldn't have a problem with scent throw. However, I struggle with Zape in my open concept. I can put Zape in my bathroom and that's pretty much the only place I can put it. So this smells really good, but I did not smell it in my open concept like I wanted to. So wouldn't repurchase it. Probably won't be repurchasing from Zape for a while. I'm not saying that, that Zape is completely on my no-no list, but definitely not frequently. Okay, up next we have banana bread carbs from Rose Girls. Super good. I think this is another one like Circus Concessions that is very widely known in the community and loved. And so, yeah, don't really need to say more. Haven't had a chance somehow to purchase this in a full mini melter yet. It just hasn't come up in any of the things I've participated in or I've seen. But, um, or maybe, it, I don't know, maybe it has and I just haven't, I know it hasn't come up in any that I've participated in. Let me put it that way. So this was just a sample, super good. Put that in my open concept, loved it. My husband likes um, Rose Girls Banana Scents. So yeah, I think I will save my clams for last. Okay, Southern Sunshine from L3. This was in a two pack bunts, two pack bunts. <clears throat> I'm not sure of the scent notes in this, but I know there's peach in it and that is enough for me. This was so, good <clears throat> so this is the scent excuse me <clears throat> that nearly hit the spot as far as like being a replacement not a replacement but um, kind of similar to princess peach from southbound only because of the peach and I, not a replacement because i will always and forever love princess peach the most but that peach is kind of the same in here and it came out so beautifully I melt. I started melting this quite a while ago. I just happened to finish it this month. Um, but I loved it the first time I melted it and actually used this in a customer creation for the latest, not the latest L3 pre-order, but like the one before that, I think. That customer creations pre-order they did, my scent, one of my, uh, one of my blends got picked and in it was Southern Sunshine, Summer Scoops, and something else. Was it fresh picked strawberries maybe? Anyways, it was super good. And I actually just got that in the mail, have not filmed it yet. It smelled really good, but I love Southern Sunshine and will always repurchase Southern Sunshine or other things with it in, in there. Okay, next was Coconut Mint. This is another sample from Pharmacist Daughter. Another really great bedroom scent. Um, I could smell the coconut, I could smell the mint. It was really good, would repurchase. Up next, we have um, Caramel Macchiato from That Smell Good Shop. This was okay. It was almost too sweet for me and too artificially, it, artificially sweet, I was gonna say. Too sweet and too artificial for me. Um, I wouldn't repurchase this, to be honest. I am learning that I don't really like caramel in my wax, and that's okay, I didn't know that before. Um, now I do, so caramel is a no for me when it comes to wax, so. All right, I need to go check on my dog. I will be right back, he snuck outside. Okay, I am back. They like to sneak outside, get in the garden, bark at the neighbors, all sorts of things. And I also scooted everything up so I could reach it better. Okay, so I am going to put aside the clams and we'll do those last. 
then we'll do these two scent shots last too. Sorry about my arm again. Okay, up next we have Strawberry Pound Cake Cali Comfort from L3. This is one of those staple scent types for me. Um, I'm not sure exactly what's in Cali Comfort, but I love L3 Strawberry Pound Cake and pretty much anything that they do with Strawberry Pound Cake is really good. And so I always have to have something Strawberry Pound Cake from L3 in my collection. So love this one, would repurchase. And I think I actually have something else in that scent. All right, up next we had a bougie bar and Cat in the Hat. And this is like a blackberry rainstorm scent. This was super good. So what happened with this is you, you probably didn't see this in any melting baskets and you're like, what? Where'd you get that from? Um, I don't usually stray from my melting baskets. However, we woke up one morning and it was a weekend and it was like thunderstorming and it had been raining since 3 a.m. and it was overcast and it was cool outside and I just knew I had to go get this. And so I went and grabbed it. It was a bougie bar. I don't know if I already said that. Put it in my open concept. So if you know, bougie bars have seven pieces in them, okay? So usually they take me a while to get through, but I put it in my four open concept warmers. And then I was like, hey, there's three pieces left. I might as well spread them out. So I did one in my bedroom, one in my bathroom. So that took care of six. I just had this going in my entire house that day. And then my last piece I used the next day in my bathroom and that bougie bar was gone. This was really, really good. And I need this scent again, whether it's in a bougie bar or something else. So definitely I will be requesting this for the fall because that's a need. So if you haven't tried that and you see it come up, definitely grab it. <clears throat> All right. Up next is another Rose Girls, and this is Rosemary Mint and Shaving Cream. And I was using this in my bathroom for like the last month um, in conjunction with other things too. So not solely this, but other things in between. This was really good. I will say I did go a bit nose blind to it toward the end of the bag, and it was only this size, so that was kind of strange. Um, the first like three times I melted it, it was really like strong and super good, and I loved it. And then like the the last few times it just i don't know something about it i just wasn't able to smell it as much so there's that i would um i don't know i, I don't know if i'd repurchase it again but i would be happy if i got it as a sample or in a big kahuna or something like that all right so net up next we have another zape so if you can't tell i'm trying to kind of work my way through the zape stuff i have this was in lemon zucchini bread now this one oh, was good. I'm trying to remember. I think this was one of the first things I put in the scenty basket, so I can't quite remember it. Um, but I do remember it being good, and I remember it being like off for what I'm used to with Zape. So it was strong. I remember it having a strong throw, um, and I did use this in my open concept. So this was a good one. If I were purchasing on the website again and saw this, I probably would pick it up again. Um, but like I said, I'm not sure how often I'm going to be purchasing. Okay. Up next, we have, ah, sorry, another little piece of a shoe contain, uh, shoe tag. Okay, we have Just Another Day in Paradise from Rose Girls. This was a Big Kahuna um, sample, and I have, so I finished this one, and I've got two more of this size. This was good. I really did like this. Definitely a full-on bathroom scent. Would not put this anywhere else in my home, but it was good for the bathroom. So, nice and fresh and aquatic. Probably wouldn't purchase on its own, but... I'm happy to use it again since I got it in the big kahunas. Okay, and last for the bags, I have this little sample. And this was in Strawberry Moon from that Smell Good Shop. This was so good. Hold on, I need to smell the bag again. Um, I remember when I hauled this. This haul is on my channel, so if you guys missed it, it's back, it's back quite a few videos. Um, I remember when I hauled it and I was like in love with it and yeah, melting it was just as beautiful. I would purchase this from that Smell Good Shop haven't purchased <clears throat> from there in quite a while, but would definitely purchase this one. Super good. Nice and strawberry-y, but also like sultry almost. Really good. Okay, and then we'll jump into the, so I'll do the, the last two scent shots and then the clams. So the first one we have is Brian's fave. This is peach pie filling. And um, this one was good. I will say that 
it doesn't so it was really good but I prefer like a creamy peach and this one wasn't which I don't know I shouldn't have expected it to be because it doesn't say anything about creamy peach it says peach pie filling which would be um a little tarter and maybe and sweet but tart right so it was exactly how it's supposed to be I probably wouldn't purchase this again only because I just for me, I'm I'm a sucker for creamy peach, so but it was good, and I put it in my open concept, and it performed like a charm, like all fantasy wax does. Their stuff, if you haven't tried, throws all day, super strong, super good. I just take my scent shots, split them into four, put them in my four open concept warmers, and I'm good to go. And then last, I have Kirsten's Faith, and this one is Seven Up Pound Cake. This is one of my favorite scents from Fantasy. This is not a core scent, so. Um, you can get it from like overstock grab bags if they still have it. That's where I've gotten mine from. Um, hopefully she'll bring it back at another point in time. Super, super good. My favorite seven up pound cake. And I have, so this is the third one I've melted and I think I have two more in my collection. So I'm going to be holding on to those. I think until next spring, summer, love this scent, highly recommend. Okay. And last we've got some clams. So we'll start with my Scentsy clam. So this was Snuggle Up from the Catching Z's collection. And this actually came from um, Drew. The Drew Yawk was doing like $30 mystery bags at one point, I think when he was moving and like decluttering his wax. And so I bought one and this was in there and so good. So I don't even know when or if we would ever see this again from Scentsy. But this was really good and this was like my favorite bedroom scent while I was melting it. Like I had like this and then two other things on my nightstand and this is what I would reach for and now it's gone. Um, and I'm not sure, it was pretty oily. It was pretty oily when I got it. And I, I'm not entirely sure how old this collection is but it performed like a beast. It was so good, such a good bedroom scent. I can't stop smelling it. It's like clean. Did I even say what it was called? Snuggle up. It's like laundry. It's definitely got a laundry note to it, but it's so like clean and fresh and laundry and maybe some lavender, so good. Like snuggle up with a clean blanket. Okay, then we have K's in Beach Nights and this was delicious. I think I've mentioned before, she has the best Beach Nights and I really wanna do a custom with her Beach Nights in it. So I'm gonna be thinking about like what I wanna do. I don't know, honestly, beach nights with like fresh picked or ooh, like fresh picked strawberries and mango sorbet Ooh, that might be really good because it would be like a tropical beach scent oh, I'm gonna have to give that one a try I think that'd be really good I need to like write that down okay so this was good love that would repurchase 100% and would repurchase in a larger quantity and then I have two southbound clams so the first one is coconut mango tango and I'm gonna have to smell these because they were I melted them right around the same time so I'm pretty sure this one was yeah so this one is a warmer scent as in like um almost like a not warmer but like a scent you'd want on a really hot day when you all you can think about is the beach it kind of has like a suntanny lotion smell really really delicious I would pick this up again clam bakery bag whatever the next one is um summer state of mind and I'm trying to remember sorry there was something about this one that I didn't love and I think it was because it was too raspberry heavy um I don't hold on let me smell it again this one's harder to get open um I don't think I love her raspberry so, and I love Southbound, so don't take that any certain way. I love Southbound, one of my favorite vendors, but I don't love her raspberry. And so that's good to know because now I know I won't purchase things with raspberry in it. I think what I'm learning is Southbound is one of my favorite vendors, but I don't love her super, super summer, summery blends, like those super like beachy summery blends. I prefer her springtime blends or her like I don't know how to describe it but those super summery blends I have like the copper tone the coconut the pineapple the raspberry the guava I don't love those as much so 
but this was uh, not would not be a repurchase for me but was good and I enjoyed it while I was melting it just wouldn't repurchase it so that is everything I have for this round of empties I melted some really really good stuff so my plan moving forward with empties is to film at the end of every melting basket so basically as I explained in my last melting basket video you're going to get one melting basket per month so that's what I'm going to be putting up I'm going to put one melting basket per month up and then so that'll go up toward the end of the month for the next month okay or the very beginning of the month and then I'm going to do a empty slash what I've been melting for each month at the end of the month so like I already put up my August melting basket the end of August, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna sit down with that same melting basket and say, okay, these are my empties, this is what I've been melting, this is what maybe I didn't touch from that melting basket and just kind of go over it. And then you'll get the same thing for September. So I hope that makes sense. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I feel really good to get all my empties gone through and it's so like rewarding to empty this wax and then like, I always just recycle it or whatever, like the, the plastic, I throw it away, I recycle what I can. I. It just feels good. So I will see you guys in my next video and I hope you have a great day.